What's going on, buddy? Siliaka here, and um, yesterday I found a syringe on the ground. I was we were walking to the store, me and my daughter. We we're doing our normal thing. I take her to the ponds, let her see the ducks and whatnot. And I ran across a syringe. So me being responsible, you get away from there, and then I called the police to say, hey, there's a syringe on the ground. Mark it with some trash. We'll go through that here in a minute. But um, you know, I called him yesterday. And then we drove by today and I noticed the clump of trash still sitting there. And I was like, you know something? Let me check it out. Let me see if it's still there. And sure as shit, guess what? That syringe was still sitting there. So, like, you know, like if I had a way to dispose of this syringe in a safe manner, I would. But I don't. You know, I don't, I didn't have rubber gloves on me. I don't have one of those things you drop the the friggin syringes and shit in for hazardous material because I don't know what it is it could be an insulin syringe for all I know I don't know I'm not going to take that chance I just know that me and my daughter we wait we walk this way and we walk past this area and well you know it's very important you know like you know this is very well could just be an insulin syringe but I don't know nobody knows you know who knows what's on the end of that syringe I just know that people could prick themselves, and if there was anything attached to it, they're going to get that. So that's why I say it's very important to find ways to dispose of stuff in a proper manner. And I'm not law enforcement, so we're going to get into this. I see law enforcement. I'm going to cut this out right quick. I'll be back. If you can see that sign, and then there's a little white piece of trash right maybe like 20 feet before that sign, okay. that's where the syringe is at. Okay, I'll take care of it. Cool, man. Yeah, that was the only piece I saw there. Okay. So I appreciate it, man. I just, my me and my daughter, we were walking past here, and there was like a dead snake, and she went to play with that, and then I started looking on the ground, and that's when I saw that. And I was like, you know. Yeah, no problem. Yep, appreciate it, man. Whoa. That is good. Like I said, you know, I just want people to be safe, you know, like you just don't know with, you know, needles and things like that are just dangerous, but maybe I'm just being paranoid. Like I'm, everybody says, I'm always being paranoid. I don't think I'm paranoid. I think I see the truth and for what it is. And, you know, I try to be helpful to the people, to the masses. I don't think I'm paranoid. I think I'm just trying to let people know that there are things that are very concerning that are happening and this is one of them you know drug drug abuse and and things like that are a very huge problem right now you know that's why i'm not trying to let my daughter get involved or be a part of that i don't want her shooting up needles and shit so but whatever you know i'm just ranting 
But uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Don't forget, hit that like, share, and that subscribe button. All that good stuff. I love every one of my subscribers and all the subscribers soon to come. I can't say thank you enough for being here and being part of this journey. So I'm going to get out of here. Soliacker. Deuces.